Hello and welcome to the Maryland Energy Administration's Smart Energy Investment Dashboard user video. This video will provide an overview of navigation and basic functionality to help users become familiar with the site. The dashboard is a collaborative effort of the Maryland Energy Administration, the Maryland Department of Information Technology, and the Eastern Shore Regional GIS Cooperative. The focus of the dashboard is to illustrate Maryland Energy Administration's contribution to the growth of affordable, reliable, renewable energy and energy efficiency industries in our state. Currently, the dashboard highlights only those projects to which MEA has contributed and is not meant to show all installations or activities in the state. The dashboard is highly interactive, platform independent, and is available on desktop and mobile devices through all modern browsers. To begin, select one of the tabs, Renewable Energy, Energy Efficiency, or Transportation. We'll review each beginning with Renewable Energy. Each tab contains a map on the left, project filters on top, and several charts below. Use the list in the lower left-hand corner of the map to specify the type of geography to compare and to specify whether individual projects should be displayed on the map. Notice that the contribution by regions chart adjusts as different geographies are selected. Similar geographies can be compared by selecting one or more from the map. To deselect a region, simply click it on the map or select the Reset Map button. Turning individual projects on using the map list, you'll see that these projects are displayed as numbered points on the map. The points are clustered at different zoom levels, so as you zoom in on the map, the points disaggregate until a single point is visible, or the points break out into their respective technologies. Click an individual project to view a pop-up list of statistics relevant to that specific project. It's important to note that residential and agricultural project locations are displayed at their zip code center to ensure recipient privacy and as a result multiple projects may overlap at a single point. The Renewable Energy tab contains two filter categories, Technology and Sector. These filters control the data displayed on the map and in the charts. Note that the map points are color-coded to the technology filter. When multiple technologies are selected, as is the default, the map points appear black. The technology and sector filters can be used in combination with multiple filters applied from each category. However, note that some combinations may yield a no-data result. For example, wood-burning stoves, technology, and the commercial sector combination has no applicable projects. On the Renewable Energy tab, it's also important to note that the last three charts pertaining to capacity only appear when viewing a single technology. This is because each of the technologies have a unique measure of capacity, kilowatts, square feet, tons, etc. The user can interact with the charts using the radio buttons within the charts or by using the chart table view buttons on the top of each chart. In table view, the user can sort the data by any of the fields. All of the data found on the dashboard can be viewed and downloaded from StateStat, Maryland's open data portal. A link for this is found in the upper right hand corner of each page. You'll notice that the energy efficiency tab is very similar to the renewable energy tab with just a few exceptions. First, the filter categories are specific to each tab. The Energy Efficiency tab contains two filter categories, Sector and Program. The map points are color-coded based on the sector filter. Again, the Sector and Program filters can be used in combination, however many of them may yield a no data result.
Lastly, the type of charts and the overall number of charts is unique to the Energy Efficiency tab. Beyond those few exceptions, the interaction and functionality is the same as what we reviewed for the Renewable Energy tab. Moving on to the Transportation tab, the final tab. Again, the basic functionality and navigation is the same across all the tabs. However, the filter options and the type and number of charts is unique. The Transportation tab contains three filter categories, Vehicle Technology, Charging Station Technology, and Sector. As with the other tabs, these filters can be used in combination but may yield a no data result. This is especially true of combining the Vehicle Technology and Charging Station Technology filters. Another unique feature of the Transportation tab is that the map shows not only project locations as circles, but also the publicly accessible locations of electric vehicle charging stations and other alternative refueling stations as squares. This concludes our overview of the Maryland Energy Administration's Smart Energy Investment Dashboard. For questions or comments about the data being displayed, please contact the Maryland Energy Administration. For comments, questions, and dashboard opportunities, please contact the Eastern Shore Regional GIS Cooperative. Thank you.